Okay, friends, so let's get started on this MAP sensor. MAP sensor stands for Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. If we come right down here, I'm gonna use my serpentine belt tool with a 14 millimeter socket on it, leave tension from the belt, and take the belt off of any of the pulleys that I can get to, and then set it aside, just like that. So the next thing we need to do is remove the AC compressor and slide it off to the side. Okay, so we have a swivel 13 millimeter. We have our extension and a ratchet. I'm just gonna come right over through here, and I'm gonna loosen up this bolt, take it right out of there. That's what our bolt looks like. We'll set it aside. So now we're just gonna come down here with our 15 millimeter socket and an extension. We're gonna take out this bolt right here. Okay, so we're gonna take out this bolt right here. Let's see if I can get my socket on there. Oh yeah, woo! And this bolt is a through bolt. It goes through here, through this bracket, and then comes through there, and that's where it tightens up. So this is gonna be a nice and long bolt. Super long. Set that aside. Grab the AC compressor and wiggle it around. It's starting to lift up now, so you wanna pay attention to everything. As I'm going like this, bringing it up, 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 and there we go. We only need to go this far because we found our map sensor now. We can get to the mounting bolt, and we can get this off of here. So first, we're gonna lift up on this red tab, squeeze this, and remove our electrical connector. So I'm gonna take a small pocket screwdriver, put it under here, lift up on that lock. It doesn't come up any further than that, so don't bother trying to break it. Squeeze this little button right here, and then this electrical harness should wanna lift up. I'm gonna grab it with my screwdriver. Just help it along here, because I don't wanna tug on the wires, obviously. Take a look, that looks great. Set it aside. Now we're gonna find the socket that we need to remove this bolt and it should come right off. So we're gonna use our 9.30 seconds quarter inch socket here. I'm gonna get it onto my bolt. I'm gonna try to turn it counterclockwise, break that free. We're just gonna take this bolt completely out of here. There's our bolt. We'll set that aside and our tool. Now I'm just gonna grab that sensor and just draw it right out of here. There it is. Take your new sensor. If you want to put a little bit of lubricant along the seal, it's up to you. I always like to. We're just going to press this in there. Should want to go in. Oh yeah, slid right in easy peasy. Love it. I'm going to grab that screw, try getting it back in there. Hardest part's getting my hand in here. I don't even have super big hands. Pretty close here. Stay on there. Okay, that's pretty much bottomed out. I'll try to catch the next tooth on this thing. Yeah, tight. Take your electrical connector. We're gonna push it down and listen for a click. There it is. Now you need to make sure that you press down on that red lock. I'm just gonna grab my bolt here, push it down. There we go. Give it a tug, perfect. So we grabbed our long bolt. We're gonna get the AC compressor lined up with the bracket here, slide that bolt through, get it started, and then we're gonna move on to starting the other bolts before we tighten any of them down. Okay, so let's get this bolt in. This is the longest bolt, and it's the one that goes here. Let's hope that it's lined up. If it's not, it might take a little bit of finagling. Feels like my bolt went right in, but I don't feel it grabbing on the back side. So if that's the case, we'll just have to lift up probably on the back side or move it around a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely not going in. I'm just gonna try to move the compressor around and see if I can just get that bolt lined up. It feels like it got snug. Let's hope. I'm gonna try putting it in a couple threads. So let's get that 15 on there. Nice, got a few good threads on that. Let's move along. Let's start in that last bolt. Right up here, get that one going. Okay, so all three are started in. Now we can start tightening them up. Okay, that's bottomed out. Just give it a teeny bit more. Move along to the next. Okay, that's bottomed out. Just give it a teeny bit more. Move along to the next. Okay, so we have our swivel extension. Stuff 
definitely bottomed out. Let's go a teeny bit more. That feels great. All right, so we're just gonna put this down over here. Getting the belt around all the pulleys the way it came off is sometimes a little difficult, but. Okay, so I've got the belt on. We're just gonna double check, make sure it's around all the pulleys the exact way that it came off. It's not hanging off on any of the grooves. I think this looks pretty great. Make sure you get all of your tool out of here. Okay, so now we're gonna start it up. We're only gonna run it for a minute because we need to double check to make sure that that belt's sitting on all the grooves as it should. So I can run the grooves on the tensioner. Down there. Perfect. Take her for a road test.